Hello. Let's take a break from plastic. Let's talk about sunscreen. Sunscreen is great. You should wear it. Let's use a safe one. What do I mean by safe? A lot of sunscreens have really bad chemicals in them. One of them being oxybenzone, another one being octanoxate. Not only are these really bad for the ocean and coral reefs, but they're really bad for you and potentially your baby inside of you. Oxybenzone is a chemical that they use in a lot of sunscreens. It has been linked to breast cancer or speeding up your breast cancer, polluting breast milk, newborn deformities. It's been associated with women's uterine disease, uh, threatens male sexual health, can damage your DNA. As far as our ocean goes and our coral reefs, it goes into the ocean. One tiny drop of this can be found in six and a half size Olympic swimming pools and we are putting over 14,000 tons of this into the ocean. It sterilizes the coral reefs, meaning that they can no longer reproduce and make new coral reefs, and it also bleaches them. So they're no longer able to feed the ocean and house all those little animals that live inside of it and feed off of it. We started to see a decline in coral reefs around 1980 to 1985. And sunscreens were being widely used in tourist areas and when people were going to visit the ocean, they were starting to actually use these sunscreens that had these bad chemicals in them. So corals also have immune systems similar to humans. So when they start to get stressed out, um, you can really see that affect them. They, that's why they're bleaching. When we're really sick, we get really pale. So it's really similar. Coral reefs also only take up 1% of the ocean floor, but they do support over 25% of marine life. Coral reefs have declined over 40% in Hawaii, 50% in the Great Barrier Reef, 85% in the Caribbean, 99% in the Florida Keys. Shout out to Hawaii for banning these chemicals from being sold. Also maybe thinking, well, I don't even live close to the ocean, I'll just use it when I'm at the ocean. Just think about the water you use. Every time that you're using water, whatever is on your body gets washed off and enters the ocean. You it around the pool, you live in the middle of America, that water is gonna be evaporated and end up in the ocean. We're starting to see this stuff in our drinking water. When you are looking for a sunscreen and you're buying new sunscreens this coming summer, just look for something that's sink based A lot of these say reef friendly. It's are, these are from Whole Foods. So this is just a regular body sunscreen. I use this on my face every day and you can see it says reef safe. It is zinc based and you will not find oxybenzone in the ingredients list on these. There's also Alba and they will list on theirs no oxybenzone with this one. It's listed right down here, right here, uh, reef friendly. So those are two great things to look for as well as just checking the list of ingredients and making sure those two words are not in your sunscreen. Not only because they're bad for the ocean, but they are bad for human health as well. Hope this helps. See you next Sunday.